Hi, hello and welcome to another video by the scientist formerly known as Nigelli. Today I would like to show you another project that you can do with soda cans. It's about making stoppers from bottle cork. So if you like what you see so far, please stay tuned because you only need few items to finish this project. First of all, we need to make this wooden tool by drilling a hole in it in the size of the bottle cork you have. Then make a slit slightly off-center with a saw. But the best way to show you how it works is directly on an example our cork cone. Clamp the piece of wood in a vise, put the cork cone into the hole and then saw one side in but do not saw through the cone. Then turn the cork by 180 degrees, make a parallel cut to your first cut with a saw. Then turn the cork for 90 degrees and make your third cut into the cork cone. Now turn the cork the last time for 180 degrees. Now you can cut completely through the cork cone. Remove the pre-cut sections and you end up with a square shaped uh, bottle cork that you can use in your project. Prepare as many as you need for your soda cans. Now we remove the lid of a soda can with a special tool. I have the link in the description of the video, but you can also use a simple X-Acto knife for this work. We need the lid as an example for the dimension of the stopper, uh, as you can see here. When you know the uh, size of the stopper, you can start gluing the different cork cones that you have cut at one plate with a hot glue gun. Then place the lid on top of your plate and cut around the lid with a, an X-Acto knife. Leave a little space around the lid because the stopper has to be slightly bigger so it fits your soda can. Now we have to find the center of our stopper, place the lid on top and then make a hole into the middle by using a nail or another sharp object. Enlarge the hole so you can place the screw through the cork. As shown on the picture I used a drive-in nut because we are going to place this uh, construction later on in an electric drill and in order that the cork doesn't move we need this drive-in nut. Fix some sandpapers onto your workbench with uh, tape and I also strongly recommend you to fix some vacuum cleaner nearby because it's gonna get messy. Clamp the screw into the drill chuck of the drill Switch on the drill and then press the rotating cork plate gently onto the sandpaper. Stop from time to time to check if the cork stopper already uh, fits your soda can. When you're through with sanding, remove the screw and then you still have the hole in the stopper. Now you have two possibilities to close the hole. Either you take a little bit of glue, mix it with the sawdust from the cork and close it in this way or you cut from another cork pieces and glue it on top of the stopper. And we already reached the end of our project on how to make stoppers for soda cans from the cork. 
And if you wonder how the color or the ink of the soda can was removed, I already posted a video how to do this. Just follow the link in the upper right corner. So if you like that project how to make stoppers for soda cans from bottle cork, please give me a thumbs up, check out all my other videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay creative and so long.